I remember when I was coming up as a kid, that afro meant a lot to me. As you can see, it meant some kind of coolness about you, like the Fonz. But as you can see, I was a very good looking guy. And when I had that afro, I got a lot of ladies. But in today's society, that afro meant that you can hardly find a job because a lot of employers wouldn't hire you. But back when I was growing up, that afro on George Foreman meant that he was ready to beat you up. But in today's society, that afro meant you can only get a job at a car wash or some kind of gas attendant or something like that. This is Egg Dog Production. The Afro Effect meant that you didn't have any kind of money or any kind of wealth. But let's see about that. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? You appear to be lost. Um, is this the KARV dealership? Yes, uh, it is. Uh, but the food shelter is just a couple blocks up the street, if that's what you're looking for. Um, no. I'm actually here because I've seen some RVs on your guys' site, and I want to come down and check them out in person. You wanted to come check them out in person? Yes, sir. Okay, very well. Um, but just to be clear, we don't sell trailers here. So, if you're looking for a trailer to live out of, this isn't really the spot. We specialize more in uh, travel RVs for families with money. Then I arrived at the right place. Nice to meet you. I'm Darion. Okay, well, uh, let's get started. So I have a great used section over here to my, my left if no, you want to follow. No, no, I'm not looking for anything used. I'm actually here to purchase something brand new. Darren, I, new RVs are expensive. You know that, right? I, this Tiffin here is worth almost $300,000. Well, yeah, let's take a look at this one then. <laughs> is there a problem? Darren, I, I, let's not waste our time. I mean, I have this great, this great used keystones also a wonderful used van you'd be the talk of the town or at least the talk of the hood you know maybe i should go ask your boss for help instead no okay it's fine i'll show it to you but just try not to touch anything okay so what's your job i don't have a job man uh, figures. You must be getting that stimulus check in the mail then. What's that? Oh, nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Just take a look around. Yes, so it's the top selling diesel motorhome in America. Uh, yes, two bathrooms. Wonderful. <laughs> you can see. Uh, and a refrigerator. Yes, uh, that's... Oh, no, please. Oh, no, no. Don't do that. Ah. Bingo. Hey man, you mind if I use the restroom? Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Do whatever. Excuse me, sir, are you being helped? Oh, yeah, you know what? I um, I spoke to one of the owners on the phone. Well, I can assure you anything you need, I can help you out. Okay, I think it'd be easier if I just speak to one of the owners, because I was- Hey, hey I, I basically am one of the owners. Anything you need, I can get you. Oh, great. Um, yeah, you know, I saw an ad on Craigslist that you guys were looking for a nighttime security guard. I figured I'd come in and- Yeah, that's great, I, I can show you- Wait, what? Uh, yeah, there's an ad on Craigslist. You guys are looking for a security guard for the night shift? So you're not here to buy an RV and you don't have any money? <laughs> no, no way, man. I'm broke. I actually had to borrow my friend's car just to get here. Out of my way, you peasant. Whoa. Oh, hey, uh, well, what's going on here? What's going on here is we're selling dairy on this motorhome. That's, that's great. I was just helping him out myself. Is that right? Because he was telling me that you were trying to point him to the homeless shelter out there. What? No, I, I, Darren and I are pals. 
Like, I was just about to invite him to poker night with the boys. Isn't that right, Darren? My name's Darion, by the way. See, let me give you some advice. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. You see, people with money don't feel the need to show off. They don't wear fake Rolexes and hand-me-down sports coats. But I thought you said you didn't have a job. I don't. I have a business. What? You didn't think I was capable of running my own business? Your ignorance just caused you a 10% commission on this RV. And if my math serves me correctly, that's $30,000 you just missed out on like that. Uh, do you guys want to go inside and finish up the paperwork? Yeah, man, let's do that. As you can see, guys with afros got money these days. They're not a poor, broken bum. They actually are a class act today. So you better watch out who you stereotype. This is Egg Dog Production. Please watch one of the videos that's up on the screen now. I guarantee you, you'll love it.